Welcome to Symbolic Minds Generation. Today's episode, man, we're going to get into this R. Kelly shit, Deshaun Watson, all this sense of disparity from blacks to whites that they keep doing to us. Let's get right into it. <clears throat> so I've been seeing all these Facebook posts about the R. Kelly sentencing and all of that. And it, it's sad to me, you know, to have my black people always cheerleading instead of leading them when they do something to us. Now, I'm going to say this, and I don't give a fuck what y'all think. I don't give a fuck about none of them little girls that he was sleeping with. You know what I'm saying? Because they was doing that. Yeah, he might be wrong for doing that. All I care about is the sex trafficking charges and the RICO charges that they put on this man. Like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? You know what I mean? What do you mean sex trafficking? Like, I thought that was like, you know, when you kidnap somebody and, and sell them and, and, and prostitute them and do all of that. What the fuck are you talking about sex traffic? Because he went across the state line with a, with a minor who wanted to go, who mama sent her. Like, what the fuck are y'all talking about, bro? And what's wrong with y'all always cheerleading this shit whenever they do something to us? Sick of this shit, man. Y'all don't know they trying to do us in? Y'all don't see this shit, what's going on? I shared a post on Instagram uh, yesterday or today. Um, young Muslim brother on there talking about Roe versus Wade and how this is the beginning. They coming for us, bro. Y'all sitting around, hee hee ha ha, talking about who made the most money between Jay Z and and who the fuck ever. And P Diddy or Beyonce and all that shit. I, mean, I remember one time in a joint, dudes got to fighting over. So they was arguing about who made the most money. Oh nigga. Oh, nigga, we know motherfucker Jay-Z, though. Nigga, who gives a fuck, bro? That's the mentality of us, bro. That's our mentality, man. We on some stupid shit, bro. And they quietly and quietly, man, getting rid of us. They erasing us off, off this fucking planet, bro. Next thing you know, man, they is going to try to block this motherfucker's son because that son getting hotter and hotter and we can only motherfucker that can survive in it. Y'all don't see what the fuck going on? Y'all don't see what the fuck going on? They scared of your resourcefulness. They scared of the fact that you could, you you know, they try to hold you down. You're still a millionaire. You're still a billionaire. They scared of that. You sitting around here making more money than them. And this, you know, this whole R. Kelly shit, man. Y'all niggas on here and blasting R. Kelly, y'all cheerleading and waving y'all pom poms and shit. This man got 30 years, bro. Like 30 years for what? He didn't rape nobody. You know what I mean? He didn't rape no motherfucking body. Like Brianna Altice, the teacher. 14 felony charges, forced sodomy, forcible sex uh, abuse, all kind of shit. In 2015, she got sentenced in. She got out in, in 2019. Shelby Dufresne had a threesome with a 16-year-old. Go, y'all look this shit up. Just Google white teachers sleeping with students and see how much time they get. I'm talking about serial fucking rapists, bro. Sleeping with the whole fucking class. Now, I remember Mary Kay Letourneau back in the day. How much time did she do? She got out of jail and went back with the dude, the little boy. They got married and everything. It's a group of uh, black Atlanta teachers, man, got up to seven years for inflating student test scores. Y'all see what the fuck is going on? You see what the fuck is going on? You see what the fuck going on with Deshaun Watson? It ain't no fucking proof. That's why they threw the shit out of court on the criminal side. Now he got to face whatever with the fucking in, with the NFL because if it ain't no criminal shit, he shouldn't be having to get no kind of punishment. Everybody noticed the Houston Texans did this shit because he didn't want to be there. They know it. Y'all know this shit, the NFL and all this NBA, all this shit is a mafia. That's why they find you for every fucking thing. If you wear the wrong color socks, if you do this or you do that, now they make it where you got to speak to the media. You remember back in the day, motherfuckers didn't want to talk to the media. They wouldn't do it. 
Now it's all in your contract and all that. You got to sit on the podium after the fucking game. <sighs> Come on, man. We need to wake the fuck up, man. Stop fucking cheerleading and start leading, man. Y'all know the fucking Deshaun Watson shit is some bullshit. You had two more women come after he after he was found not guilty in the criminal court. You had two more women pop up on the civil shit. Like, this shit is bullshit, bro. If it ain't no fucking videotape of him doing nothing, it shouldn't be nothing. They flexing on us. Y'all don't see this shit? You don't see the Bill Cosby shit? The OJ shit? Look at our icon of this shit. We just had a, a Jackson... Um, Family member came out. They said they asked him about Michael Jackson's death. He said, "What you mean is murder?" He said Michael Jackson and Prince were murdered. He said they want nothing but life insurance policies. Come on, man. We need to wake the fuck up. What the fuck going on? Thirty years for that man. This man is the most talented motherfucker in our history, bro. On that music side, especially with the R and B. The overall package of, you know, he write, produce, sing, do every fucking thing. This man's catalog is phenomenal. And I'm going to tell y'all something. He ain't going to do them about probably five years. But still. Some white dude get a hard on for him and talk about, oh, this guy right here and all that. What the fuck they talking about sex trafficking, bro? Y'all don't see nothing wrong with this shit? Now they're going to start using the RICO ad. You know, like they did on Young Thug and all them. That might be a different situation. But they're going to start using the RICO shit on us now. Oh, uh, we are organized. You know, that RICO was, was installed and in, in, in put in place for the mob. Like organized, you know, crime shit. Like, what the fuck, RICO? What the fuck you charging this man with? They just doing anything to us. Y'all sitting around laughing, talking about he, y'all, they got him. It ain't the point about what he did. It's the point how they try, how they get them. They can get mad at one of us or whatever we doing with our life and attack us and lock us up. But we can't do shit to them. Like I said, I shared a post today and man, dude was talking about, I forget who he said the guy was, but about a hundred years ago, he said, how are you going to trust somebody who, 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 who set you, who gave you your, uh, your freedoms and stuff? But how, you know, a whole nother race. How are you going to trust a race that put you in place to, to do whatever? They can go back and take all that shit back. Come on, man. The fuck is going on? Man, I should see another motherfucker cheerleading talking about R. Kelly got 30 years and all this shit on Facebook. This shit don't make no sense. Y'all y'all looking at this shit from the wrong fucking vantage point. Y'all looking at this shit all fucking wrong, bro. Shit don't make no fucking sense with what's going on, bro. They coming for our fucking head. Y'all don't see what the fuck going on? Man, I'll die today, bro. If my family and all of you can be equal as these motherfuckers on this planet, we at the bottom of the fucking totem pole. If somebody came to me and said, my death is going to make everything equal, man, fucking kill me. Fucking kill me. Y'all dudes running around here, man, and shit, they locking us. I know dudes, man, been railroaded. Innocent in their brain, never getting out. Just railroaded, bro. The judge know it, man. Every motion they sent up there, they shooting it down. The man niggas did 35, 40 years, bro. Come on, man. This shit is fucking serious. What they doing to us? Fucking railroaded. You don't believe me? I did a video already. Go back and look at the Innocent Project, how many people they getting out from DNA. These fucking courts don't do, man, this shit don't mean nothing in court. Then you got these jurors coming in there and shit and believe everything that the fucking government say. They're, oh, they, he must have did it. They wouldn't lie. Really? 
This shit is ridiculous, bro. Shit is ridiculous. Man, I need y'all to wake the fuck up, man. They coming for our fucking head, bro. This we at a crucial motherfucking uh, stage right now. Where everybody need to be fucking worried, cause you might wake up tomorrow and, and the shit ain't the same. You might need to protect your family and every fucking thing. They might be knocking at your fucking door. You need to wake the fuck up, bro. Tomorrow, man, you might be you have to be like, man, it's life or death. We don't stand up for shit, bro. 30 years, bro. This man ain't raped nobody. Sex trafficking and RICO charges and shit. Come on, bro. This man is R. fucking Kelly, bro. Motherfucking women throwing panties at his on the fucking stage at this nigga. Beat them little girls one lined up and shit. You know what I mean? You know how many niggas that took bra, the young bra and shit that... Just wasn't old enough, then took them out of town and all that shit and crept them out of town. Come on, man. That's sex trafficking? Fuck out of here, man. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on, man? We need to wake the fuck up. Y'all believe every motherfucking thing y'all see on fucking TV, man. This shit is fucking ridiculous, bro. Come on, man. You don't see how powerful we are? They can't stand it. They done kicked you and kicked you, kicked your damn teeth out, and you keep standing up. You keep building your fucking empire no matter what. They can't stand your resourcefulness, your strength. They trying to break this shit down to science. Your melanin must be got something to do with it and all they trying to break you down like to the very last compound. The energy you getting from the sun, I'm telling you, they gonna block this motherfucker. They're gonna put a black cow over all our motherfucking ass. Come on, man. Shit don't make no fucking sense, bro. Anything. Any case, any issue, just Google it. Go look at the disparity at the time that they give them motherfuckers. They getting slaps on the wrist. You got teachers, man, that slap with five, six students, man, don't even go to fucking jail. White teachers. If you look at the history of the fucking teachers who got caught sleeping with students, Look how many were black or Latino. They mostly, uh, they mostly all white. Go look and see how much time they got. Shit don't make no fucking sense, bro. Shit don't make no fucking sense, man. I'm fucking damn near about to cry. I'm fucking emotional about this shit, bro. Shit don't make no fucking sense, bro. I witness dudes in there. I know they innocent. You know how many times, man, they done pulled up and put some shit in niggas' trunks and threw some shit in the back seat? You know how many times, man, the, the lawyer done, done fucked the dude over in the court and the judge, they all in on it together just to, you know, to get you gone? Come on, man. This shit is serious. They coming for our fucking head. It's time for us to wake the fuck up. Hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment. I need to fucking feel y'all. I know I ain't made a video in a minute. Y'all know I got married. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with these, you know, even my reception had to deal with some niggas. Motherfuckers stole half our, uh, our uh, cars and shit that, that out the box that people gave us with money in it and everything. But it's all good. Sick of you niggas. Sick of you niggas, man. Sick and tired of you motherfucking niggas, bro. Let's wake the fuck up, bro. Let's wake the fuck up, man.